Digital scent technology, oral factory technology is the engineering discipline dealing with olfactory representation. It is a technology to sense, transmit and receive scent-enabled digital media such as web pages, video games, movies and music. This sensing part of this technology works by using olfactometers and electronic noses. History Topic: 1950s to 1960s. In the late 1950s, Hans Lobb invented the smell o vision, a system which released odor during the projection of a film so that the viewer could smell what was happening in the movie. The smell o vision faced competition with Aromarama, a similar system invented by Charles Weiss that emitted scents through the air conditioning system of a theater. Variety dubbed the competition, the Battle of the Smellies. Smell o vision did not work as intended. According to a Variety review of the mystery comedy film Scent of Mystery 1960, which featured the one and only use of smell o vision, aromas were released with a distracting hissing noise and audience members in the balcony complained that the scents reached them several seconds after the action was shown on the screen. In other parts of the theater, the odors were too faint, causing audience members to sniff loudly in an attempt to catch the scent. These technical problems were mostly corrected after the first few showings, but the poor word of mouth, in conjunction with generally negative reviews of the film itself, led to the decline of smell o vision. Topic: 1990s to 2000s. In 1999, Digisense developed a computer peripheral device called Ismal, which was designed to emit a smell when a user visited a web site or opened an email. The device contained a cartridge with 128 primary odors which could be mixed to replicate natural and man-made odors. Digisense had indexed thousands of common odors, which could be coded, digitized, and embedded into web pages or email. After $20 million in investment, Digisense was shut down in 2001 when it was unable to obtain the additional funding it required. In 2000, Aromajet developed a scent generating device prototype called Panoch. No new announcements have been made since December 2000. In 2003, Tricenex, founded in 1999, launched a scent generating device called Scent Dome, which by 2004 was tested by the UK internet service provider Telewest. This device was about the size of a teapot and could generate up to 60 different smells by releasing particles from one or more of 20 liquid-filled odor capsules. Computers fitted with a scent dome unit used software to recognize smell identifying codes embedded in an email or web page. In 2004, Suji Wellness and France Telecom developed a scent generating device called Kaori Web, which comes with six different cartridges for different smells. The Japanese firm, K-Opticom, had placed special units of this device in their internet cafes and other venues until the end of the experiment on March 20, 2005. Also in 2004, the Indian inventor Sandeep Gupta founded Save Products, LLC and claimed to show a scent generating device prototype at CES 2005. In 2005, researchers from the University of Huelva developed XML Smell, a protocol of XML that can transmit smells. 
The researchers also developed a scent generating device and worked on miniaturizing its size. Also in 2005, Thanko launched P at D Aroma Generator, a USB device that comes with three different cartridges for different smells. In 2005, Japanese researchers announced that they are working on a 3D television with touch and smell that would be commercially available on the market by the year 2020. Topic 2010s. During ThinkNext 2010, the Israeli company Centcom featured a demo of its scent generating device. In June 2011, a press release from the University of California, San Diego Jacobs School of Engineering announced a paper published in Anjouant Chemi describing an optimization and miniaturization of a component that can select and release scents from 10,000 odors, that is intended to be part part of a digital scent solution for TVs and phones. In October 2012, AromaJoin, a Japanese company, released a small-sized product named Aroma Shooter which contains six different solid type scents. In March 2013, a group of Japanese researchers unveiled a prototype invention they dubbed a smelling screen. The device combines a digital display with four small fans that direct an emitted odor to a specific spot on the screen. The fans operate at a very low speed, making it difficult for the user to perceive airflow, instead he or she perceives the smell as coming directly out of the screen and object displayed at that location. In July 2013, Raúl Porcar Spain, engineer and inventor developed and patented Olorama technology, a wireless system with the aim to incorporate sense into movies, virtual reality reality, and all kind of audiovisual experiences. In December 2013 Amos Porat inventor and CTO of Scent2U Israel Company has built several prototypes that can control scents. At GDC 2015, Feelrel unveiled its odor generator VR peripheral. In 2016 Serena Hariri, Noor Ain Mustafa, Kasun Karananayaka and Adrian David Chia from Imagineering Institute, Iskander Puteri, Malaysia experimented with electrical stimulation of olfactory receptors. At CEATEC 2016, AromaJoin unveiled the first wearable scent device, Aroma Shooter Mini, which can be connected and controlled from PCs and smartphones. Besides, the company also introduced a demo scent enabled chatting app named Aroma Message in the event. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current challenges. Current obstacles of mainstream adoption include the timing and distribution of scents, a fundamental understanding of human olfactory perception, the health dangers of synthetic odors, and other hurdles. See also Machine olfaction Centography